Hello, Internet, with an S. <laughs> um, today's February 26th of 2012. This is my first video log. Um, technically, I guess it would be my first. I've actually tried recording this about 19 times. Uh, <laughs> various things happen. I have things flying behind me and... You know, or I accidentally hit the button, or, you know, my son turned the dryer on, you couldn't hear anything. So, um, so, trying this again. Uh, this is a video log for me, um, and to help other people, uh, you know, concerning the bariatric weight loss surgery, I am getting laparoscopic bypass. I did decide against the sleeve and the lap band or the, I think they also call it the life band. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, for me, the the permanence of the bypass, you know, is, is something that I absolutely wanted. Uh, just to give you some quick statistics, I am 5'3", 244 pounds. This is uh, actually one of my highest weights that I've ever had. And one of the things that I did go through, you know, that my doctor said really isn't that unusual, but I didn't hear anyone talk about, you know, on, on these video logs of other bariatric, you know, patients was that I went through um, what my doctor teasingly referred to as last suppers, uh, which was, you know, I don't want to eat the same way that I that I used to. So, you know, the past six months, I have been eating all the things that I shouldn't be eating pretty much ever again. Uh, I have juggled about three pounds up and down uh, while this has been going on. Um, for example, the other day, you know, and it was a planned, it, a planned thing. It's not um, compulsive or last minute, you know, I planned it out that I wanted to go to a Chinese buffet. And I ate and ate and ate, and I felt just miserable afterwards. Um, but it is, you know, something I didn't want to look back on going, oh, why didn't I do that when I had the chance? Or, you know, why did I skip that? So, pretty much, you know, <laughs> that's one of the things that's been going on. I actually start my pre-surgery liquid diet on the 29th just uh, like two days from now and um, that's actually something I am looking forward to it's pretty much uh, nothing solid nothing heavy juices strained juices jello clear liquids um, broths and of course protein shakes so uh, I know one of the other uh, bloggers had talked about these protein shakes they all come in sweet flavors chocolate vanilla strawberry praline peanut butter and uh, one of the things that she had pointed out and it didn't really hit me until you know I was you know down the last line for this was that all these flavors are sweet um, and she said that why didn't they have anything along the lines of you know chicken soup flavored protein shake or you know <laughs> hamburger flavored you know protein mush and they don't it's all sweet and it's one of the things that hit me that for the next couple months I'm going to be drinking dessert shakes for substance but okay so anyways so um so anyways one of the things that was bothering me that I didn't see touched on um pre-surgery is that of all the things that someone can be scared of my one of my biggest fears is actually loose skin I mean it's a fact of life it's gonna happen <coughs> excuse me you know especially with me all my weight was in my stomach um, I do have some here uh, but there's no stretch marks of course I carry weight in my face and here and there but uh the majority of my weight's in my stomach and when I had gained the weight I gained it really fast over a course of about six months and I have stretch marks and it blew the muscles and it's just it's a holy mess it's not um, it's not gonna go down it's not gonna be flat and it's gonna be yucky and that's actually one of my biggest fears is the complications from the loose skin 
and um, you know I don't know how that's going to end up being afterwards and you can't know until you actually go through it so it's one of those things that you just you know got to deal with so um, I have been working with my primary care doctor uh, you know trying to, to get the ball in motion um, lay the groundwork that if if the weight loss if the weight loss causes so much extra skin that it causes complications that you know we're starting to document now the complications that I'm having um, that way we do have the groundwork laid uh, but again you know that's something that we're not going to know anything about until we actually get to that to that bridge to cross uh, the last thing that I've been thinking about is well let me hold for just a moment before I get to that um, just as a FYI you can plan and plan and plan and plan and things go screwy like uh, you know this has been in the works for me for actually years but the past six months is when you know it's really been set up uh, concerning my work I should say uh, my boss actually was the one who originally loaned me the money to pay for my surgery everything was paid back everything was good to go um, you know I had racked up some serious sick time vacation time everything all ready for surgery next week and last week I lost my job so <laughs> and on top of that now I'm fighting to get paid for um, my sick time my vacation time you know so on and so forth so um you know this is just one of the things you know when you're going through this you have to be prepared for anything um, right now I'm kinda like in this weird limbo uh, where I want to be looking for a job I want to be interviewing but how can you you know do this when you tell them oh by the way I know I just got hired this week but next week I'm gonna take two weeks off for surgery so I actually um kinda of put that on hold you know I have been putting my resume and stuff out there uh, I do have a one day a week job um, that's lined up uh, with a very nice man I'm not, I'm not sure how that's gonna end up working out but um it's just for about six hours every Saturday um, you know so it's just a little bit of money but you know at least it's something and you know as his business grows my time is going to pick up so and he's willing to work around the surgery and anything that I have to do with that so I guess you know it is what it is so um other than that you know like some kind of getting over a cold um, I had to be better this week or else they are going to cancel the surgery so knock on wood it's not going to happen so I get guess I'll get to the last thing I did save it last because I kind of look goofy afterwards but so I said you know my fears was the last supper eating the loose skin and my hair very vain things I know I should be worried about you know the surgery infection complications with anesthesia but I worked in the medical field for 22 years and you know it's just kind of you know I you know I worked actually in surgery you know I've assisted with hundreds of surgeries you know surgical tech for assist and you know you know I stood in the operating room at Johns Hopkins and passed instruments on some amazing surgery so the surgery itself isn't scaring me it's these stupid little things that worry me so like I said you know the skin and my hair I'll take it down my hair is waist length and uh, the doctor said when I had did Atkins my hair had thinned out noticeably quite a bit and he said that um, that's a good indicator that I'm gonna lose quite a bit for this surgery so um, you know as you can see it is <laughs> quite a bit um, I started growing out my bangs I guess I want to say about um two months ago month yeah, about two months ago you know it hit me that you know my hair is really going to be thinning out and if I'm going to have these little wispy little bang things it's just going to make it look worse so as you can see uh, my hair is my hair is very fine and it's a little thin now as it is you know before surgery but I think go like that 
can't get a good part there. But, whoops, sorry, my laptop just went screwy. But anyways, um, so, yeah, I, I'm kind of stressing about my hair. You know, I love it. It's my crowning glory. Um, you know, but then again, maybe my hair was a way for me to hide, you know, behind my weight. So, and that's something that, you know, some people I've talked about before, not necessarily for you know, bariatric people, but that uh, people with long hair hide. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. So, anyways, um, I'm at the 10 minute mark and really haven't said much of anything, but this is something for me to look back on. And I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping I'll make another one before surgery. My intentions is to make a video while I'm in the hospital. But <coughs> I guess we'll see what happens. Bye.